Paul yeah. Trustee Babel? Here. Trustee Blackstock? Here. Trustee Knotts? Here. Trustee Richley? Here. All right. Uh, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, moving into the approval of the agenda, are there any additions or deletions to the agenda as presented? I have three. Um, we're going to add new business one as the proposal for the mobile office for the DPW. Uh, new business two as the maintenance agreements with the road commission for 2021. And new business three as the uh, funding for the St. Clair Council on Aging. I have one. I one. I'd like to have the, you know, the from the consent agenda. I have the revenue and expense report removed and made it item of, on the agenda. Right. Is there any further? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda with the amendments. Well, I mean, Um, is that any better? Uh, yeah, it's a better. Okay. So Trustee Richley made a motion to accept the minutes with the four new added items, or the agenda, I mean. Support. Supported by Sandy. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, motion carries. Uh, moving into the approval of the minutes. In your packets, as discussed here, uh, it sounds like everybody now has the most up-to-date minutes. Um, I do have some corrections. <coughs> if I have the most up-to-date ones. Um, uh, on the second page, uh, the first item under new business, um, the voting to adopt the resolution for 2021. I voted a, not nay, and it has it listed as nays. Those are for the budget amendments. It's correct in the um, wording, you know, within the resolution, they have it right there, but um, the first paragraph has me listed as a nay. Okay. It should be an A. Um. And also, Business two, uh, same thing. Um, listed as an A. It should be an A. That was for the depreciation thing coming off the report. Uh, okay, so here the first one under new business should be A. She a yes. Yes. Okay, and then what's the second one? I'm trying to find it in here. So the. What's the motion for, Nicole? talking about the, page four the expense the revenue expenditure report yeah the revenue expense. i think that's the one she's talking about yeah. page four right down underneath all okay. the numbers okay okay yeah these pages aren't labeled so i'm not sure if i'm looking at the same thing that you guys are okay and then my other thing is um under the resolution 5 2021 um, we have the A's and the nays listed above, but they're not listed within the um, actual resolution itself. Right above resolution declared and adopted, normally the A's and the nays are listed there, and they're not listed at all. Okay. Okay. So they just need to be added in. 
Any further comments on the minutes from April 5th? Hearing none, a motion would be in order to accept the minutes with the amendments. So moved. Support. We have a motion, we have a support to accept the minutes with the amendments put forth by Nicole Hart, Trustee Hart, uh, Treasurer Hart. Uh, all motions signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. All right. Um, we do have a uh, presentation guest speaker tonight, uh, Jeff Bohm, Mr. Vandenbosch from the St. Clair County Economic Development Group, just to discuss some upcoming uh, possible projects. Yeah. So thank you for having me um, tonight. We were actually over at China Township earlier. So... Um, I actually am uh, the vice chair of the Economic Development Alliance also. Um, what we're running to here in St. Clair County and really the Magna um, power plant that just went in St. Clair took really the last large piece of property that we have in the county out of play that has proper water, sewer, you know, all the infrastructure to make those types of things happen. Um, recently, within the last month, we've had four submittals from companies that we haven't even been able to submit to. Large tracts of land, 100, 200 acres. One was 3.2 billion, one was 1.3 billion. The other one was 500 million. We, do, we, do, we really have literally ran out of large tracts of land. We have a few pieces. We have uh, 60 acres um, over in Iyer, which is owned by the school uh, district over there. There's City of Marysville has 73. There's a pipeline that runs through it, so it's about 40 buildable. We have a piece that's out in Kimball Township. There's roughly 80 acres across from um, oh, the uh, Grace Performance over there. But as far as any larger tracts of land, anything that has 100 or 200 acres, it does not exist in St. Clair County, okay? And so we're really looking at where is the next areas of growth. We've had a lot of different meetings. Um, recently, we just had a meeting on Wednesday um, with China and Ira and um, Cotterville, Casco, probably 40 people in attendance. Um, and I'm going to jump around and then I'll parlay how you guys kind of tie into the fold here. But uh, I think everybody thinks that 26 Mile Road is really going to be the next potential corridor for growth that you would be able to have. You have large tracts of land over there. Um, there's obviously limited sewer and water um, that exists along that particular corridor. You have the um, little bit of stuff in St. Clair Township between St. Clair and Marysville that has um, some properties. And, and generally what we see with these companies is they want proximity to 94. Uh, they really like 26 Mile Road the best because of the proximity of the Macomb workforce. You know, at the end of the day, you're putting these companies up, you have to be able to recruit and bring people in. So, so these inquiries, if, if you're trying to put some out in KPAC, it ain't going to happen. Okay, I just, what, what happens is the, the have a lot of mileage requirements now, 60 miles from the end user. A lot of these particular um, companies that we recently responded to were battery um, manufacturers, uh, heavy EV stuff. That's exactly what the Magna plant is, is producing. The bodies, are, I'm not an auto guy, so excuse me, but like the trays for the new Hummers that are being built. So those are the types of things that are coming down the pipeline. Uh, the county just recently received, uh, it's going to be probably $31 million, give or take, and some uh, COVID CARES money. Probably out of that, we're going to at least take $25 million and look at sewer and water improvements and really the focus with a 26-mile road corridor. We're currently going out to the communities to see if they even want the investment because at the end of the day, before we go out, make it no mistake, this is 50 to $75 million kind of stuff, the thing that we're talking about. So we, we can't go out and put that kind of money into the ground and have communities that aren't you know, willing to accept growth or development or any of that type of stuff, right? So um, we're, we're, kind, we're kind of 30,000 miles on it right now. The next step, what we'll ultimately have to do is get a corridor study. And now I'm talking about 26, and we can talk a little bit about Fred Moore and a couple others. But that will actually identify 
you know, where the water, where the sewer, what are the capacities in those systems? Um, you know, how much does it, you know, how much is it going to cost if we have to build, put another sewer treatment facility? It's really going to look at the zoning along that whole entire um, corridor. And the counties, it, we're not even asking the communities to participate. Small communities, you guys can't write those kind of checks, you know. I mean, it just, it's a reality of. But the reality of is if we don't get some next areas um, ready for growth or development in St. Clair County, we might, we, we, you know, might as well forget it, you know, because literally, I mean, we're three or four properties away from having nothing. And there again, anything larger, the 100 to 200 acre parcels, we have nothing. And we look at the maps in the county, we contact landowners, you know, we do all that stuff. And, and we're really, that's the, you know, that's the state of where we're at today. Now, in my position, it, it pains me to think that we cannot go out and try to attract companies to provide good jobs and tax base for, you know, for residents of St. Clair County. That Magna um, plant that's going into phase one, for example, even after abatements, still 544,000 a year in new tax dollars. There's a phase two and a phase three that's associated that will push that plant roughly to a million square foot. It'll be our largest non-utility taxpayer in St. Clair County. That's how substantial these things are. So, um, in, in where the East China and China portion of it with the water and sewer piece of it, we're looking at really who has capacity because a great example, um, I talked to Brian, we actually had met with Larry previously. Cindy, I know you were part of those meetings. The city of St. Clair, for example, has no sewer capacity left to be able to serve anything that would potentially come to St. Clair County in the northern portion of it. So when we previously had met with East China, the possibilities of, of would St. Clair be able to tie into East China's sewer system so East China then could handle, you know, some of the, the load from St. Clair, then that would open up space to be able to go develop in St. Clair Township. I mean, the conversations we're having is to look to see who has what, you know, who has water and sewer, and truthfully, everybody's got water coming out of their eyeballs. I think you said you're running at 25% yeah, capacity. Yeah. Marine City's at 25, Iris got, you know, so we got a ton of water. Sewer, not so much. So does the, you know, and I know that East China's tied into Marine City's water systems and when they had to, you know, the fires and you had to, you know, back, you know, fill them. Because now we're looking at Marine City, does it make sense to run water from Marine City down 26 mile road, tying in with, with IRA, that kind of stuff. So everything's on the table and everything's up for discussion. And you, you don't have to answer this question tonight. I just want to let you guys know what we're up to, but I would like at a later date, if you could, maybe in the next meeting, if you would even be willing to look at selling some of your, you know, potentially some of your water and sewer capacity to help, um, you know, free up some of these other things in this area so we can really take a good stab at, at getting, you know, all in on this thing to really, um, you know, be able to get large tracts of land to be able to help recruit. Um, 40% of our residents in St. Clair County work outside of St. Clair County. That, that job, you know, the, you know, the more career type of things. Over 30% go to Macomb. It'd be nice to think that you could provide some more employment opportunities for your residents. Um, I know that Magna, now there again, I'm not an auto guy, but my best friend is, and he always sends me over the job postings that they're hiring for that. He's like, these are the kind of jobs that people move to your community for. These are, these are good jobs, you know? So really what, you know, on our end, that's what I've always felt we're tasked with, jobs and tax base. Um, so just want to, I'll open up for any questions there. Again, we're 30,000 mile in this thing. The next steps for us would be the 26 mile road corridor, which then would also take a consideration in what other communities have for water, sewer, um, you know, those types of things that may be available. So. Ralph is, uh, you know, I'm not going to say much about it. Uh, as far we've kicked around the idea of selling water and being able to sell water sewer service to, to neighboring communities. Uh, and we have the capability of providing it. What we would like, if that, ha if that happens, though, the community that wants it is going to have to kick in some money for creating the infrastructure that connects. Oh yeah, no. And problem. then they have to pay and then and then we would sell them the product. 
Uh, I, I, my other little hat is I, I'm <laughs> currently working on the Sewer Water Authority. I have been for many years, so I know, I know that we have the capacity to do it. Uh, the, whether or not we do it is a township decision, and of course we have two townships involved in the uh, capacity, and so it, it would have to be an agreement between the townships that, to actually do that. I don't see tech capacity-wise why there would be a problem. All the other stuff is, I don't even want to think about it. Okay. Yeah. Well, and as you well know, exponentially, the profit margins, when you're already running your water plant, it doesn't cost you that much more to produce that much more water. So your profit margins are extremely high in water, not as high in sewer, but they're still substantial. And, and truthfully, if you're running a plant and you have 25% that you're pushing out, you want to sell you know a lot more product is it's that's you know that's the expensive endeavor to have so um and there again i'm not asking tonight but you know i mean maybe at a, f a follow-up meeting just say you know what we and we can meet with obviously your dpw guys here's how much we have here's how much potentially would be available you know those kind of conversations because you this does tie into and when you talk about 20 or, or 32 mile road obviously china's got the um I think you told me they got a 16 inch on a 10 inch over there, 16 inch on water, 10 inch. Yeah, so have. the ability to serve some of the, the Fred Moore Highway corridor is, you know, is possible too. The, the, the tough part with these companies is when they come in, here's the building. We're building this building. Give us a piece of property to put it on. When that Magna plant came in St. Clair, um, bought the property five days later, they tore the corn down. Day six, they were doing soil borings, you know. Right now, that plan has to be open up at the end of June, uh, full capacity at the end of December. You're talking 10 and a half months and a 370,000 square foot build out. I mean, they even brought, yeah, they, they're in the in, um, their industrial park out in St. Clair with a bunch of their equipment, training people. They have a whole separate offsite. They probably have 40 or 50 people that are working in there, training, getting everything geared up so when this plant does come into production. This isn't the old two years, you know, wait, look. Uh, the wetlands issues need to be taken care of. I mean, these sites have to be ready to go. They just, that's just the reality of the, uh, the world. Anybody that works, and I think the, the wonderful world of automotive understands those tight time frames. <laughs> crazy all right anything else david you got anything you want to add to i just wanted to say we want to try and get a comprehensive regional look at this instead of trying to do everything patchwork from one municipality to another and get everybody on the same page working together and that way when the development comes it's managed instead of a, just a big push because development comes and if you're not ready for it to manage it it forces itself on you one way or another. Right. And uh, some of the issues they had in Chesterfield and Macomb Township with growth, you know, we don't want to run into the same issues. Yeah, be proactive instead of reactive. Right. Any other questions? Okay. All right, we appreciate your time. Yeah, we'll get back with you on yeah. a, a second meeting. And yeah, for sure. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good night. All right, uh, moving into the consent agenda, also in your packets. <laughs> if there's no questions, the motion to approve the consent agenda would be in order. Now we have pulled, I'm, this revenue and expenditure board is no longer in the consent agenda, is that correct? Because I'd, I'd like to have that. As separate. of? Like April have, 1st. I like to have that pulled tonight for discussion, not approved, not approved in general as a part of the consent, consent agenda. I like to have that put back. I like to have that as a separate item tonight. Not on a new business? Ne, yeah, under a new business or whatever you want to put it, mm -hmm. but not part of the consent agenda. Okay. Gotcha. Other than the revenue expense report, I will make a motion that we also approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. And we have a motion to have a support to consent to approve the consent agenda. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 aye.
All opposed? Motion carries. All right, moving into uh, disbursements. We have a payroll in the amount of $32,435.49. Accounts payable of $93,128.09. EFTs in the amount of $53,027.56. E-checks for $302.30 and a tax account of $800. $46.27 for a total of $179,739.71. I'll make a motion to pay the bills. Support. support. We have a motion, we have a support to pay the bills. Roll call, please. Treasurer Hart? Yes. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Knotts? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Clerk Smith? Yes. Treas Supervisor Roush? Yes. All right, pay the bills. All right, moving into uh, old business, uh, appointments to the Cemetery Advisory Committee. Uh, Ms. Trustee Babel has uh, volunteered to sit on that board along with Cindy Boda and Who's your other? Diane Stubbs. Diane Stubbs. Yeah, I didn't write that down. Um, so. Can we do that as one motion or? I think we got to do three. Three, okay. Yeah. Well, we could do one. We could do one? Mm -hmm. right. one we do, if nobody has a problem, we could do one motion. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll make a motion to appoint. Uh, Deborah Babel, Cynthia Boda, and Diane Stubbs to the Cemetery Advisory Committee. Support. All right, we have a motion. We have support to appoint the uh, Cemetery Advisory Committee. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Motion carries. All right, uh, new business. So new business one uh, is the DPW work trailer. So it got brought up to our attention the other day that the DPW basically doesn't have an office or any place for any kind of office work. Uh, basically has a, a desk in the, in the DPW garage uh, just outside of his vehicle. Uh, no place to lock up any files, um, you know, anything that he needs to lock up needs to go in his pickup truck at night. Uh, guys are sharing his desk at lunchtime to eat their lunches on. Um, it's just not a, uh, it's not a very good situation. Um, so we're going to look, you know, over some time here at, at doing some renovations on that property. There's an old, I think, old water building um, that's been there for a long time that really needs to come down. Maybe we build a little office there. Um, we did talk about the other building over by the water tower. Uh, it's just really more of a storage garage. Um, the more we talked about that, it was, we'd like to have Blaine in front of his guys or around his guys at all times just to make sure that there's not any slacking, but uh, supervision. yeah, it's just some supervision there. So the um, thing that we kind of thought about was this Will Scott mobile office trailer, which you'll see on job sites here and there, uh, relatively inexpensive. Um, we do have about $20,000 in savings on the generator project for the township hall here, so we do have some money available there we could pinch from for the first little while. But um, you'll see in here there's a cost per month. There's a setup cost and a teardown cost, and then a monthly charge. Um, there's a couple things that we could get away from here. There's a conference package, which is, you know, table and chair rental, 60 bucks a month. We could not pick up that option and just uh, purchase a desk and a couple chairs. Mm -hmm. But uh, outside of that, I'm of the opinion that this wouldn't be a bad idea to be able to give Blaine some privacy. Where is this going to go? Over at the DPW yard uh, behind the water plant. So it would still be on the property. It would still be accessible to the guys, just not, 
you know, in their face all the time. Brian, is it so? In my understanding is it's like a temporary thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Temporary, probably. Uh, they read, they wrote it up as a six month because it's the minimum contract, but probably some more realistically like twelve months okay. until we can come up with a permanent solution. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's Mr. Reckler got a good point there. Probably want to make sure you make that make it a year is fine, but specifically designated as a temporary because we are allowed to do that and the zoning laws as to have a, you know, we we got we got even though we're the owner we got to follow our own zoning laws and so we had to do the same thing with the temp buildings that they wanted over there to work on the new power plant. Okay. And we and you can do that. You can put it down as a temporary temporary building for specific periods of time. And that meets the, the requirements as far as the, being able to use a phone. Okay. I guess zoning didn't have getting in on my head list yesterday, so I'm getting more getting more uh, sensitive to it. So, in my opinion, I mean, I think that if, uh, if everybody's in agreement, we throw this out for a 12-month lease. Um, we can try and negotiate down a little bit more on a 12-month lease, but. Um, they said we have plenty of money in that generator budget to cover this. And then we're going to start looking into putting up a building for them? Yes. Working on that this year? Yeah. Okay. There's some kind of modification to the existing. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the total charges would be double what? what's on here? Yeah, so it would be that. Uh, no, not totally, because that's the price for teardown and delivery also. Okay. So it would be that cost plus... 350 75 and 40 per month okay um, what is the total cost on that i don't have any paperwork yeah i'm trying to do the quick math here 465 oh. times six it doesn't all come at once because we don't pay the teardown part till we get it <laughs> later it'll eventually cost that much but it's not all at once yeah so we'll be looking at a total of $7,286.46 for 12 months with um, setup and teardown. Which I think is an inexpensive way to help this. Well, okay, I'll make a motion that we authorize this DPW to acquire temporary a mobile office on a temporary basis for 12 to put up at the uh, DP yard, DPW yard behind the water plant for a period of 12 months uh, for a cost uh, not to exceed what, whatever that number is. 7300 roughly. 7500 $7, dollars. I'll support. All right, we have a motion. We have support to rent this mobile office. Any further discussion? Uh, hearing none, roll call, please. Treasure Hart. Roll call. Trustee Babel. Yes. Did you call me? Yes. Yes, I'll go for Okay. Trustee Blackstack? Yes. Trustee Nats? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Clerk Smith? Yes. Supervisor Roush? Yes. All right. Motion carries. Uh, new business two, which is the Road Commission expenditures for 2021. Um, most of the stuff was put in place for uh, the road match. So basically just looking for approval to sign these. I just have one question. I don't yeah. know if I'm allowed to before we have a motion, but just a real quick question: like, how uh, how much money do we have left to get matched, or is approximately? Um, there was a. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed it. If you look at the bottom oh. of the, the second page, right behind the cover sheet, at the very bottom of the, the page, it'll show what the town, the county matches. Oh, I got you. Okay. 
Yeah, but I have only one question, Lund. Cindy, you could probably answer it. We matching all the money that they have available? Yes. Okay. They'll always like free money. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. and, and they, you know, if you look at number eight, that item is something that they work with us since we don't have many gravel roads. They've allowed us to use that for another means of repair and maintenance under that 80-20 program. I just want to take advantage of all that there's available. As long as we can do it. Do we have to do each one of these individually? Have you got a method? No, no we really, can... it's, it's just a, approving, authorizing the supervisor and the clerk to sign the agreements is really the, the need. Okay. They're not allowed to unilaterally so sign. Without. I'll make the motion to be authorized the supervisor and clerk to sign the 20, 2021 St. Clair County Road Commission cost sharing agreement. Support. support. Oh, Nicole hung up on us. Can you hear us now? Mm, no, you cut out. Now I can barely hear you. All right. We have a motion. We have a support to uh, approve the supervisor and clerk to sign the 2021 St. Clair Road Commission cost sharing agreements. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all, uh, I guess we got to do a roll call, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, roll call vote, Treasure Hart. There's, uh, there's eight different ones that are all uh, the road commission match money. Oh, the match money. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Knotts? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Clerk Smith? Yes. Supervisor Roush? Yes. Okay. All right. The motion carries for the road. All right. Um, new business number three is uh, the St. Clair County Council on Aging. Um, we have $1,000 put in the budget. Um, this in the, what's attached here is what we've given them as a donation each year for the last six years. Um, basically just looking for approval to take that money from the budget and donate it to the St. Clair County Council on Aging. 1000 bucks sounds good to me. Would you like to make that motion? Is that a motion? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I make a motion that we donate uh, one thousand dollars to St. Clark Council on Aging support. for services oh, uh, for our residents. Okay, support. We have a motion. We have a support. All uh, any further discussion? Hearing none. Roll call, please. Roll call vote. Treasurer Hart. Yes. Trustee Babel. Yes. Trustee Blackstock. Yes. Trustee Nuts. Yes. Trustee Richley. Yes. Clerk Smith. Yes. Supervisor Roush. Yes. Motion carries. New business for uh, Ralph, the expense and. Yeah, uh, I was surprised that it was still in there. I have had email conversations with uh, Cindy, and I understand why they're doing it uh, because the date of approval was on the 4th of April, and this date on this uh, report is the 31st of March. I'm sorry, but the way I see it, the date doesn't make any difference. This thing is still wrong, and I am very reluctant to, as a trustee, to say I accept a report that I know is wrong. And in fact, we had, and we all agreed that it was. Uh, I I think the best way to do this is I would recommend that we table this until uh, the meeting on March the. Eighth, I, or May the eighth, which I believe is the next meeting, which we're supposed to get one of these things. But I'm reluctant to vote to accept a report I know that's wrong. Where, where is your issue with it? What? Well, you haven't been here, haven't you? I, I don't. <laughs> it's the. I missed the yeah. For some reason, about three months ago, the report began to contain in the water fund, the sewer fund, and there is even a line in the DPW fund, although it doesn't have a number on it, that has the depreciation as an expense against the yearly budget. And that's flat wrong. It would show you, what, as I tried to explain to everybody else before, if you've got to show an expense, you'd have to show what the revenue is for. Inside that, 
depreciation is an accounting trick to allow us, uh, in, when you're doing your total assets, mm -hmm. to account for the fact that real property loses money, depreciates over time, and is primarily an issue when you're paying your property taxes, which we don't do. And it, it gives the false impression that those two accounts are deeply in debt to the two of about $490,000, and that's simply not true. And that's, was, that's my issue with it, and we discussed this at the last meeting, and my, most everybody agreed, and we were going to take it out and put, put the reports back like they used to be. And I was quite surprised to get the one today that they're wanting us to approve that still has that error in it. And I, my solution I would suggest is that we table that acceptance of that report until May the 8th. The reason it was still in there was because of the, for first quarter, mm -hmm. she's going to take it out starting on quarter two. Uh, I see. Okay. After March 31st. Yes. All right. Well, we can table that and bring it back around the May 8th meeting. It's May 3rd, isn't it? Is it May 3rd? May 8th? I think it's May 3rd. Yeah, sure. You have to vote on the tabling issue. The next. All right. And have it redone? Have the report no. redone? Well. For the next May meeting? 3rd. The next meeting. Or not, not the next meeting. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. May the 8th, which is the next meeting that we would normally get a revenue expenditure report. So I will table it until we get the revenue expense report at the next meeting. And that should, and that will be, still be the same date because it's, they don't it'll be the end of, no, it won't be the end of April's meeting. It should be the date at the end of April at the, at the, at the, the, the report that, was, I'm sorry, the report that we get on the 8th of May should have a cutoff date of the 30th of April. Right, which right. is why you see this one, because the motion was moving forward that would be removed from the revenue expenditure report. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that just doesn't make yeah. any difference. The report is still wrong, what? and now you're going to ask me to vote to accept the wrong report, and I won't do that. So are you looking for a new report ending 331 without the depreciation in? Is that what your issue is? I'm looking for a revenue and expenditure report that does not have depreciation in it to be presented as part of the consent agenda for the 8th of May. Okay, but this one that's dated ending 331, you're fine with? It's wrong. I will not vote right. to accept that report. We just simply will not accept that report. All right, so that being said, we will vote to table this until the next meeting. Uh, and ask her to revise it? That's not going to be possible. It's, it it's retroactive, so I'm it, not it's, sure. It's basically Computer that we doesn't. see that we can see the consent agenda without that report. You will see that, that for sure. Minute. The computer, the computer won't let you do that. We cannot, no, once, we can't go back and take it out. I mean, it was moving forward. You will no longer see that. It so we done. either have to accept it as it is, yeah. or. You don't have to accept it at all. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to accept, I don't accept that with this report. And I will wait until see what we get at the next report period, which is 8 May. Well, we accepted the consent agenda already. Pardon me? We already accepted the consent agenda. No, we didn't, because right. I asked you to take out, I told you to take that out of the consent agenda, and you did. And you removed it to new business. Oh, then I ran through it anyways. So that's my fault. So we need to we need to vote on it then, because we moved it to new business. So yeah. we either need to table it or move to accept it as the I make a move that we vote. motion that we table the consideration of the revenue expenditure report until meeting of 8 May. You, okay. My, my only question, like if we... Well, you can vote on it. Right, but I mean, if we accept it, or if we don't accept it, what would happen? I mean, because you can't change what's... Is it coming back the same way it is now, next meeting? It will. Yeah. Because it is what it is. Right. 
So we yeah. either vote on it and take a vote, mm -hmm. or yeah. we vote to table it. Because I think accepting it isn't going to change. I mean, it's not going to change it. It's just it is it is wrong the way it's written, but it's it's it's, it's just been amended. Right. But it doesn't change anything. Like it's. So wait, Ralph has a motion to mm -hmm. to table this. Is there a second on that motion? So we do not have a second on that motion. So I guess the next thing would be to look for a motion to accept the consent agenda. To accept the revenue expenditure report for 331. Yep. Yes. I will make a motion to accept the revenue and expenditure report dated ending 331-21 as is and going forward as we voted the depreciation will be out of there. But this one needs to stay how it is right now. That's my motion. All right, we have a motion. I'll support that. And a support. Uh, all in favor, any further discussion, sir? All in favor, uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Right. Do we need a roll call or no? I don't think so. No, okay. Spending okay. Any money. All opposed? Uh, for, I cannot vote in favor of accepting an erroneous report. No. Okay. All right. The well, motion carries to accept the consent agenda as presented. The revenue and expenditure report. Yes, that one. Yes. Uh, revenue and expenditure report. <laughs> All right, um, moving into uh, announcements. I have none. Uh, if there's no other announcements, I guess we'll go through member comments. Uh, start with Clerk Smith. I have none. Thank you. Treasurer Hart. No, nope, I'm all set. Thank you. Trustee Blackstock. Nothing, thank you. Trustee Babel. I'm good. Trustee Richley. Just welcome aboard the Clerk Smith. Thank and, you. And uh, enjoy the snow tomorrow. <laughs> That's all I got. Trustee Knotts. The same thing. I want to welcome Clerk Smith to the Forup Foray. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have nothing else. And uh, for myself, um, the office is back open this week as of today. Uh, back to the hours we put forth, uh, which is like 10 to 4 for open the residence. So that's good news. I'm trying to get back to a little bit of normalcy here. So mm -hmm. um, outside of that, uh, I have nothing. Nothing else. Okay. So a uh, motion to adjourn. adjourn the meeting would be in order at 8.13. So moved. Support. We have, motion. we have a motion. We have a support to adjourn the meeting. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>